Our role is working on the interior design of Capricorn along with the architecture firm and we have kind of been working with them from the beginning, figuring out how all the spaces are going to work and the overall look of the interiors of the project. So we are definitely focusing on the soul of the project, which is this very kind of 70s vibe. Unfortunately, there was not a lot of original material or detail left within the building. So we are just kind of having to interpret from there and kind of figure out a new 70s look to go into the space. We did have the opportunity to go with Mercer to visit Muscle Shoals Sound Studios and Fame Studios in um, Alabama. They are previous recording studios that now have museum spaces um, within them. Fame Studios is still a working recording studio. So we were able to see similar spaces from that era and kind of what other people had done, how they were interpreting their museum spaces. We're definitely taking kind of our interpretation of that era and that feel. A lot of browns, kind of warm tones, there is going to be a rusty orange, which does give a nod to Mercer as well, which we wanted to do with a little gold and a little burgundy as well. Um, there's going to be a lot of velvets throughout the space, a lot of leathers for durability. I think our greatest challenge has been taking a space that is completely raw and there wasn't a lot of detail to um, base our design on and just coming up with an overall concept that's going to work for all the entities involved. There is an original curtain panel still in the production room that we're going to have cleaned and I contacted a fabric conservator in Atlanta and after talking with him about the project and telling him what we needed done, he said, that sounds great. You know, Greg Allman was a great friend of mine and I used to spend time in that studio. So I'm very familiar with this curtain. Capricorn Studios in Georgia has so many connecting points throughout the state and there's so many people that you talk to that have a story or a memory or a connection and so it's going to be a great space to bring back to life and to really re-energize the city.